Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you my homemade 150 watt pulse start metal halide fixture. Now, um, before I get started, as you noticed I probably haven't made a lot of videos lately. Um, but that's because I've been busy with homework and stuff from school and also I've been just chilling around just because I'm tired or something. But I'm in the mood to make a video today. Um, this fixture, um... I made myself uh, it is similar to the 70 watt fixture right there but uh, it's a lot bigger and uh, in the I'll be posting an assembly video right after this which is like half hour long if you want to watch it or if you can you can watch it if you want then I'll make a light up video but right now I'm just showing the fixture of it there's additions and some modifications, well, just additions to the fixture. One addition is I put, uh, since the metal halide lamps tend to explode at the end of their life, the R2, the R when it, it ruptures near the end of their life, they tend to have that nasty habit. Uh, since that's not a protected R2, and in case it breaks the outer glass and goes flying everywhere, I put a mason jar over it, which is quite thick. So if it explodes through the outer glass, and we'll, it hopefully it will stay in here. I used galvanized wire and I hooked around the extra holes there on the socket. And it's non-insulated. Don't use insulated because the, the insulation will melt. And it's not as strong too. This is steel galvanized, stainless steel galvanized wire that's non-insulated. Um, I put a tape, duct tape and an electrical tape around it just for color and stuff. The decoration or something like that. Obviously a switch, just like the other fixture, the 70 watt sodium. And it has two more extensions than the 70 watt sodium one. Uh, here's the cord, it's grounded. This is grounded. The whole electrical box is grounded. It's metal, obviously. The ceramic socket, never use plastic. Plastic will melt. But uh, anyway, um, there's just the looks around it. I mean, from the front of it. Just the back is just where this, um, just where the cord comes out, I mean goes in. But, uh, anyway, I have rubber feet underneath this too, so, so it won't scratch any surfaces or anything. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video of my Pole Start Metal Halide fixture. Hope that is homemade. Uh, thanks for watching, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank, again, thank you very much for watching.